John from Fresh Professional Services. I'm going to do a review on the Spirit 41 heater. And uh, I've had it for two years now, so this is an honest review. And I'm going to talk you through stuff and sharpen the blade and even give you a tip with the air filter. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So this is the heater Spirit 41 with the 450E Briggs and Stratton engine. It's a 125cc and um, it's classed as a domestic. It's about 300 quid I paid for it, as you can see. It's been bad. And well used, even a little bit of rust on it. But it's had it scratches. It's been through the walls and uh, it's done all right. What I like about this is it's light, it's small, it's compact, it's got lots of levers. If you look at it, the weight, the weight there is 30. It's nice, it's light, it's plastic, fantastic. And um, it's a good little mower. Um, So I would recommend anyone with small gardens with lots of stairs that you got to lift. I know you shouldn't do it but I always just grab that and lift it up or you can grab underneath, you know, quite a bit of a grip. So I'm probably going to show you um, um, how I look after it with the blades etc. And um, I mean it's already done now but um, yeah just one thing just want to show the roller it's a it's a plastic one solid roller but it's running on a chain which is not too bad as you can see there nice opening hole for it and that the bags in the van unfortunately I mean, the wheels are great Two years old. Soon I'll get these bowls, and uh, it has gone through some damage. Uh, yeah. What a great machine. So I'm just taking the blade off. The blade simply comes off with a 15 mil, as you can see here. And uh, if you're ever taking the blade off, just remember just to unhook the spark plug, but also remember, put it back on. So I'm just taking this off, and uh, as you can see the lighting's pretty poor, but I'm going to show you how to sharpen this now, and uh, hopefully meet you out the bench. So I'm just using a bench grinder, and uh, as you can see, if it was zoom in right, she has taken a beating. Other side's not too bad. Um but she's been well used this week. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give her a sharpen. So as you can see, sharpen the blades, and uh, still a little bit of a ding in them, so you might have to order a new blade for this year, but nice to sharp and shiny. My uh, top tip is just to use a bit of that. On the Briggs and Stratton foam makes it go green, but I've cleaned it. That's just um, goes a little bit blue, and uh, it 
it's tacky and it holds all the, the gunk in the foam. And you can see when it fills up like that. So, pros and cons on the little eight here. Well, it's an eco engine, so it's not very powerful, but it can get through wet grass as long as you keep the blade sharp. And um, ideally, there's like a little design fault on it where I, I don't really like the, where, how the air filter is. Um, I mean, you'll probably have a look at that if you were interested in that engine. It's a lot different to the commer commercial engine, but it's great on fuel. And I, I can do I can do free, um, twenty minute mowing jobs with it on a full tank, and I've still got loads left before I even think about should I top it up, um, which is which is really good. It's only got a small fuel tank on it, which um, goes with its size, and um, I'd recommend anyone this, especially if you're starting out and you need um, you need to get up any stairs or whatever and that's the main reason I bought it and uh, people love the stripes and uh, Haiti is renowned for it and they do do a pro which I haven't got yet but um, if you've got the money I recommend the pro because that comes with the Honda engine on it and it's got a few better stuff on it um, but all in all it's a, it's a good mower I've had it for two years now running solid at the moment the grass is wet so it's actually been used on some of the jobs that I'd use my bigger one on but I can't use the bigger one because it will just sink and make a mess of the lawns so I highly recommend anyone so pros and cons on the little eight here well it's an eco engine so it's not very powerful but it can get through wet grass as long as you keep the blade sharp and um, ideally there's like a little design fault on it where I, I don't really like the, where, how the air filter is um, I mean you'll probably have a look at that if you were interested in that engine it's a lot different to the commer commercial engine but it's great on fuel and I, I can do I can do free um, 20 minute mowing jobs with it on a full tank and I've still got loads left before I even think about should I top it up um, which is which is really good. It's only got a small fuel tank on it, which um, goes with its size. And um, I'd recommend anyone this, especially if you're starting out and you need um, you need to get up any stairs or whatever. And that's the main reason I bought it. And uh, people love the stripes, and uh, Haiti is renowned for it. And they do do a pro, which I haven't got yet, but. Um, if you've got the money I recommend the Pro because that comes with the Honda engine on it and it's got a few better stuff on it um, but all in all it's a, it's a good mower I've had it for two years now it's running solid at the moment the grass is wet so it's actually been used on some of the jobs that I'd use my bigger one on but I can't use the bigger one because it will just sink and make a mess of the lawns so I highly recommend anyone who's starting out or thinking of getting a smaller mower to definitely get the hey tier 41 whether it's the pro or just the one that I have which is the domestic I mean it's money well spent and um, yeah thanks for watching